Hey, what's going on, adventures? It's me, Orlando Mike, and I'm here today to do something I have been looking forward to for three years. I am finally getting to build a lightsaber at Savi's Workshop. This is going to be the full experience, the whole bells and whistles. I cannot wait to do this experience. It's going to be so awesome. So let the adventure begin. Alright, well you guys, as you can now see, we are officially on Batu and we are making our way towards Savi's workshop. But now, the trick is with Savi's, you're not supposed to tell people, specifically the First Order, that it's where you forge lightsabers, because you know, Jedi's are no-no with the First Order. So, if anyone asks, if the First Order asks, Savi's workshop is just a scrapyard. That's all it is. Hello, Ray. Hi. Hey, bye. I'm actually about to go build my saber. Really? Alright, and have you decided on the color yet? Blue. Alright, good choice. Inspired by Mas the Accord. Of course. And it's the hair. Master Blue, of course. Master Blue. <laughs> well, I hope you plan on using it to fight with us. We'd be very of happy course. to have you. Ignite you know, the spark. I could make a big difference for us in this time. I've been resistant for a long time, Ray. Please to hear it. Alright, ignite the spark. Good luck. Light the fire. Good luck. Yes, and may the force be Alright guys, so once you have checked in, they direct you over to this box right here. This is where you can look over the four classes. So you have Peace and Justice, Power and Control, Elemental Nature, and then this one was Peace and Justice, I believe. So this one is very symbolic of the Old Republic, like uh, Jedi Temple Guard. I myself, I'm picking Elemental Nature, which is this one. What is this for, I mean? These are for the four types of hilts you can make. And then you pick the one you choose. Power and Control, very reminiscent of the dark side of the Force. The blacks, the grays, the reds, very Sith. And then Peace and Justice, very symbolic of the New Republic, so more your Obi-Wan, Luke Skywalker era. So, so I'm going with Elemental Nature, which was this third drawer here. You can see based on their design, like you have a claw right here, you see a lot of wood, leather. So the experience itself is $219.99 before tax. It comes out to about $235 afterwards. And they have a couple extra accessories. You can get a belt clip, so that way you can carry it on your hip around the park. Without the blade, you don't need to carry it in the bag. Hilt stand that you can buy, so that way you can decoratively set up your hilt when you're at home. Belt clip and the stand are not included in the experience. They are extra charge. And the belt clip is $18. And to let you guys know, the hilt stands for your actual saber hilts are $25. All right guys, so you actually, if you actually look at this chart right here, this shows you all four classes. So you have peace and justice, you have power and control, elemental nature, and you have protection and defense. And when you do this experience, you actually get a medallion for whichever class you choose as well with the saber. Alright, I've now paid for the saber, we are waiting to go in, and they give you the pin, which mine is elemental nature. You do have to wear this through the whole experience, so that way the builders know which uh, hilt set to give you. So you just pin this to your lapel. And then they do give you 
the builder's card. So that way you know which station to go to. And this is basically just your ticket to get inside. Alright guys, so we just got the green light. We are about to go in and I'm about to finally build a lightsaber! Some of it, well, is new junk. <laughs> Let me explain. We humbly call ourselves the gatherers. We search the galaxy for our ancient relics, abandoned places, forgotten outposts, and battled, ravaged planets. What we find, we bring here to the workshop. So, where a stormtrooper may see worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. And in these troubled times, preserving our past may ensure our future. You've heard the legend of Luke Skywalker. Yes? Yes. yes. Pretty good. Well, now we hear there is uh, another, a new Jedi. Do you know her name? Ray. Ray, yes. And what she is leading is the spark of hope that we have been searching for for so long. And that's why you're here. To look ahead, well, and to build this, a lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It's elegant and enigmatic to build a lightsaber is an art. The saber is the reflection of its builder, with the force flowing between them. Today you will feel that connection. But enough talking. Let's begin. We begin with perhaps the most important part of the lightsaber, the Kyber Crystal. Able to focus the energy of the force to magnify it. Some say the Kyber Crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color, the crystal, determines the color of the lightsaber's blade. The blue crystal, like the one wielded by Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now Rey. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the one wielded by Mace Windu. And red, the color of power, the crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now, I don't know. But these are the stories of the past, and we're here for you, our future. It's now time to select your Kyber Crystal. Everyone, close your eyes. Close your eyes. In your mind, picture your crystal. What color do you see? What color calls to you? Now, open your eyes and take your crystal. Good. Now, in the boxes, you'll find 
chassis, activation plates, grips, pommel cap, and emitter. Building a lightsaber is a journey. Just as you selected your kyber crystal, so too you will now select the individual parts that make up your own unique saber. The gatherers are here to help you should you require assistance. Well, are we ready? Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Let's build. Hello, we're travelers. My name is Cassie, and I'll be guiding you through all of your building today. To begin, we're going to take our chassis, and our very first step will be to insert our hybrid crystal inside the chamber. Now you're going to find that the top plate of that chamber has some spring to it, while the bottom plate is locked in and stationary. So you're going to wedge that crystal in and up. How I like to do it is to put one end up against the top plate, hold it nice and tight from either side, and then use my other thumb to press in and up on the bottom. Big end up. Yep. Every crystal is unique, so we may find an easier way to use it. But what we're looking for is for it to stand straight up and down in the middle there. To be able to give it a little twist without it falling out or wiggling around. And that ring of lights around the top is a glow to match your crystal's color. Okay. Absolutely. Now we just look down to row number five for our next step. We're going to be choosing a pair of activation plates. Now there are two pairs to choose from, either the top pair or the bottom pair. We cannot mix the two. So make sure both pieces are coming from the same compartment. If you look on the inside of each piece, you're going to see there's a square. One piece will have a red square in the bottom corner. The other piece will have a blue square in the top corner. Now those squares are going to match up to the ones you can see in the center of your chassis. So you want to make sure red is touching red on one side, and then match up the blue to the blue on the other. The two rounds should meet in the middle. Alright, now you give that activation switch a test, you're going to slide up on that bar. Perfect, that's the sound of everyone. Alright, now you press up that activation switch and slide up. And then we leave it up. You can leave it up or down, it doesn't really Red touching red and blue touching blue on the inside. Oh. Are you happy with that? 
that design. I'm going to do one final test. We want to make sure everything's ready to stabilize that crystal inside. Perfect. Sparks. All right, now when you make calls, you forward and calls upon you to activate. You're going to slide that to the top. Deactivate, it'll be right back down towards you. Congratulations. You can switch it, you can make it. Go ahead and take it in your dominant hand. Whether that be your left or your right.
guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. And this has possibly been one of my favorite adventures to date. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. We love you guys. You're awesome. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, guys. We would like to give a huge shout out to our patrons for supporting us. If you are not a patron and wish to be, that link is in the link tree, as well as a link to our PayPal if you wish to make a one-time donation. Patreon members do get special access to Patreon-only posts, chats, and vlogs. Hey all, thank you for joining us today on our adventure. If you're new, please consider subscribing and leave a like for the video. Please be sure to visit our friends' channels listed in the description below, and check out our link tree with all of our social media. If you wish to see more of our content, click that bell icon to be notified when we post or go live. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you on the next adventure. adventure.